So the Eagles got the job done and won the Patriot League tournament for the second year in a row, putting them back in the NCAA tournament for the second year in a row. But what was next? Finding out who they played and where they played. And what's the best way to do that? Well, why not throw a party? Invite the media and about 200 of your closest friends and show everybody just how proud you are. Now it's time for Selection Sunday. Who's excited about Selection Sunday? I don't think American University is useless. I think we're starting to get used to it and it's so much fun. We're just taking it all in every day. Good evening, everyone. I'm Greg Gumbel. Welcome to our New York Studios in the NCAA Basketball Championship Selection Show. Out of the Horizon League, the Vikings, the Cleveland State, they upset. I was just wondering when they were going to call our names. Last year we got called really early and I just thought I'd come in here and sit down and they'd say American University. You know, we start with the A. I thought they were maybe go a little bit alphabetically. Not really, but <laughs> I think Idaho was the place we were all kind of crossing our fingers. We wouldn't have to go. <laughs> and I hope they don't forget that we're supposed to play. <laughs> well, you also hope that the, the worst wouldn't happen. We've been saying all, hearing all season they're going to be a 14, a 13, then you're hoping, oh, no, my goodness, don't let a 15 or a 16 pop up. I was hoping that we'd be close enough that we could afford to go because a lot of family wants to go, and if we got out in Portland, it would be, we already looked at the ticket prices, and it was really expensive. Six team out of the Big East, and hey, we get to play in Philadelphia. How good is that? Now, who do they get to meet? Out of the Patriot League. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm from uh, right outside of Philadelphia, so it's real cool going back home. Haven't been home uh, since Christmas, so it uh, should be nice to uh, play at uh, some familiar grounds. Uh, my, my sister said, oh my God, I'm freaking out, this is awesome. And uh, one of my uh, friends from high school, he said, okay, okay, Nova, we got them. The difference from last year is that, I mean, expectations are higher, and last year we were just excited to get there. We're still excited to get there this year, but we want to improve for, upon our accomplishments from last year and just get better. But just getting the opportunity to play in the NCAA tournament is a blessing, and, and, it's, and it's something you should be thankful for. So it really didn't matter to me where we're playing at. They are now the only team in American University history to win both the regular season and Patriot League tournament for a second time and to go to the NCAA tournament for a second time. Um, you know, Villanova's a great team, but we're going to make everybody proud. We promise that. And uh, we know it's a home game for them, but I know we got better fans, right? Yeah, good to that. Yeah, I'm going with that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Good to that. Yeah. Yeah. The Wildcats just are not going to know what hit them. I knew that with the rest of the country because I looked today and 98% of people are taking Villanova to win this game. AU is going to wreck 98% of America's brackets. You heard it here first. No last words, really, just uh, hopefully the first words of a long journey. And uh, we're going to get on the bus here and uh, try to get some wins. All right, nice thank you. Too. I'm Al Koken, and we thank you for joining us all year long on Eye on the Eagles.